Hi, I am Dr. Nanda Rajneesh. I practice as oncosurgeon and laparoscopic surgeon in Apollo Spectra and Sakra group of hospitals. Crohn's disease is an idiopathic condition because we don't know what causes Crohn's disease, but it could be a virus, it could be some kind of autoimmune induced disease due to some bacteria or uh, it could be an autoimmune condition that arises within the body itself. So we notice that these uh, patients uh, cannot tolerate certain foods also. It's very important to find out by doing food allergy test uh, that what uh, foods they don't tolerate, extremely important. So what happens in Crohn's disease mostly is multiple ulcerations that will be present in the small intestine and terminal ileum. It's very common and uh, they what happens these ulcers develop and they heal. They develop and they heal. They can cause scarring and they can cause uh, the stenosis of the small bowel loops itself which can lead to obstruction. Other than that if there is obstruction, sometimes the ulceration can go so deep that it can cause perforation and it can connect with adjacent uh, small bowel loops. So there can be uh, intestinal fistulas, that is internal fistulas can be present. They can also manifest with perianal fistulas because Crohn's disease is associated with multiple micro abscesses. These micro abscesses with the pus collection can rupture in any part of the body and uh, especially in the perineal area they can rupture and they manifest with perineal abscess means if you operate them definitely they progress to the fistula formation. So if uh, we have to treat this Crohn's disease nowadays the best part of Crohn's disease is good treatment is available. So we have a local steroid treatments that are available both perineally we can give and orally also. They control the disease extremely well. So progressively to maintain uh, this disease we have to probably maintain these patients with the diet itself. And uh, perineal fistulas they respond very well with steroids that is local steroids we call it bidosonide. Uh, that is known to help uh, very well in uh, healing these ulcers and microabscesses in these Crohn's disease patients.